Christina, how do you feel today? It's been a long time coming. It's been 12 and a half years, and he's been getting away with murder for way too long, so I'm very happy. Describe the moment when you heard that first guilty. Well, you know, the judge says you can't make any noise, but you can't help but go, oh, it was just a sense of relief. What was it like to wait for the verdict when you waited almost a full day now, deliberations? Not I'm not very patient, so it's real hard for me to wait, but you just have to do what you have to do. I made a promise to my daughter a long time ago, and I intend to keep it. I do believe justice was served today, yes, but it's never going to go away for us. I mean, we'll fight for the rest of our lives trying to keep them in jail. Because, trust me, these aren't nice people, okay? I don't want this to happen to anybody else's children and have to deal with what the nuisance and we've had to deal with. This is kind of a similar question to what Madison just said, but I mean, this is, this is the fifth Well, you can go back and check the record. I've been saying a long time for almost since it happened, he's been getting away with murder. And yeah, you know, we've been, you know, Hugh and Mary have been trying diligently and we've all been trying diligently to get everybody involved in this case that took our kids. Anybody that was involved deserves to be punished. So. You've got the district attorney sitting in court with you every day. Mm -hmm. What does that feel like to have the backing of really the state of Tennessee at this point? Well, from the get-go, we've pretty much had that. So we really do appreciate every all of their hard work. They've put many countless hours into this. And, you know, where they've been working to try to bring it to justice, we've just been trying to survive without our kids. So it's been a long time coming. And I'm grateful to everybody, the DA's office, all the law enforcement officers that helped you guys. You guys have been with us from the get-go. Maybe not all of you, but the media in general. And I just really appreciate everybody's help. Because I don't want anyone to ever forget Shannon or Chris. They were good kids, and they deserve that much. That was my next question. Because we've talked a lot about Eric Boyd in this case, mm -hmm. but really about Shannon and Chris. What memories of them, what memories of Shannon do you hold on to? Well, I have to keep out all the memories. That's all I've got left, you know. I, I don't get to talk to her anymore, but I do, but she's not here with me. But just all the, any memory is a good memory. If she makes me laugh sometimes, I see a butterfly, I know it's her, you know, letting me know she's okay or everything's going to be all right. But I'll never forget my kids. If Shannon were here today, what do you think she would say to you? That she was happy and that she loved me. Well, I don't know if y'all could just thank you. The two Knox County juries that we've had through all of these, what was it, seven or eight trials that we've had, are the two juries that have really stepped up and done what's right. So I'm gr very grateful for this entire East Tennessee or the state of Tennessee for all they've done, for the love, the support, and everything. We couldn't have done it without them. And I'm really grateful that they stepped up and did what was right. Because I know that's not an easy task. It has to be a hard task for any juror. And seeing those pictures, as y'all all well know, are something that don't just go away. And there were a lot of lo young jurors on that jury. So I just hope and pray that they realize what they did was a big deal. And I'm grateful.